Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope, and this week we are going to talk about some firefighter romances. Firefighters are one of my favorite tropes, even though I don't know any firefighters in real life or anything like that, but they are one of my favorite tropes to read about, so I have been reading some of those recently, read some in the past, and I'm here to give you some recommendations if you're interested in that, or if you're trying to get interested in it, whatever. Most of these are on Kindle Unlimited. I think probably all but one of them is actually on Kindle Unlimited. Um, which is, you know, one of my faves. I love a good Kindle Unlimited <laughs> romance recommendation video because I'm forever trying to utilize my Kindle more and find more books that I want to read on Kindle. So here we are. That's what we're going to talk about today. So the first one that I have is Caught in the Flames by Casey Shea. It is part of a series called Caught, I think, and we are following this girl named Callie. So Callie moves into town and it's like, she moves into town and her house is like right by the fire station or she moves into a new house and it's right by the fire station, something like that. So of course she ends up meeting this hot fireman called Chase and we think that Chase is like an okay guy, but as time continues, we find out that there's something like seriously wrong with like Chase and everything else. Like he tries to kiss one of her friends. He has like a psycho stepsister slash ex-girlfriend type scenario going on. And he gaslights the hell out of Callie for, like, a good part of the book. So she ends up ending her relationship with Chase. Um, and then she meets this other guy. Like, basically, her and her friends get together one night, and they're, like, burning all of her mementos of Chase. And the fire gets out of hand, and the firefighters have to come. And she meets this other guy named Ash. At the same time, she meets this older woman who lives, like, near her. And she starts kind of helping her out around the house, and so does Ash. So her and Ash are actually, like, in game in this book and we kind of see their friends to lovers romance growing there are some very sad parts some very heart-wrenching parts um Callie has to deal with a lot of grief not just for her lost relationship but so many other things and Ash is just such a good guy I really enjoyed it I feel like it's a little bit different because we get like a quarter of the book to half of the book being about her and Chase when like that's not how it's gonna end so I thought that was really interesting um, I do know Chase does have a book later in the series as well. I think this is a four book series and Chase is going to have a book later. Um, I have read it, but I'm not going to give it all away. So I think this is a cute series. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, some parts of it are, are hard, but it is really good. Callie is a little bit childish, um, but like who isn't? I think she's in her early 20s. So like who isn't? But definitely worth a read. I think this series is a lot of fun and I think that that last book, I think it's a four book series, and I think the last book finally came out so if you like to read series all at once definitely give that one a go. The next one I have for you is Rushing In by Claire Kingsley. This is one of the Bailey Brothers books. Um, really I think that's a five book series or four books in a novella and like three of them are about firefighters. This one just happened to be my favorite. So we're following Gavin who's like the youngest brother. He's like wild child, wild card, always doing crazy things. He's also a firefighter. And then Skylar. Skylar's dad is the chief, the fire chief. So Skylar was like a writer, but she's been dropped by her publisher. Her boyfriend has broken up with her. So she's just kind of coming to town to like live with her dad for a little bit, lick her wounds, try to get sort of back on track. And her and Gavin become really good friends, and she finds out that she can write while Gavin is around, which is super interesting. And she's, you know, able to write. They don't have to be like talking or anything. If he's just in the room, they can write, and their relationship starts to slowly grow. But Gavin doesn't really think he's good enough, and he thinks that her dad's not going to approve. And Gavin is one of those people, he does like crazy things. So, like, bungee jump off a bridge or, you know, something like that. He does all kinds of crazy things, and it's really good. I really enjoy it. I just got a kitten and he's like in the camera so anyway so I really enjoy it I think it's a lot of fun I really like that whole series it's really good um, Claire Kingsley writes fantastic series about families and everything so you do get a lot of the brothers some of the earlier couples you see people from other books come in and I just think it's a lot of fun I definitely recommend that whole series honestly so definitely give that one a go the Bailey brothers Okay, next I have Protecting What's Mine by Lucy Score. I think this is part of the Benevolence series. So we are following Mackenzie, who goes by Mac, and she is like a trauma surgeon on a helicopter, like a meta flight thing. 
That's what I think it is. Like, she works on the helicopters on the medical flights, like, when they're coming to pick you up because you've been in, like, a traumatic accident or something, and they're taking you to the hospital. And Lincoln, who goes by Link, who is a firefighter in town. So they meet, um, there's, like, an accident on the freeway, kind of, and he is trying to rescue the girl that's trapped inside the car, but he gets badly burned, so they fly him to the hospital. And... That's how they meet, but then they find out that they're next door neighbors, and they have like this instant attraction, but neither of them wants a relationship, and at the same time, something is going on with Mackenzie, like someone's breaking into her house, someone is kind of like messing with her, and she thinks she knows who it is, and you know, Leek is trying to protect her. It's so good. I absolutely loved this whole series. There's three books in it. It all takes place in the same little town. They're all friends. And I just absolutely love this series. I read it a while back, and I thought it was so good. It was one of the first, like, firefighter romances that I remember reading. And I was 100% here for it. Like, so, so good. Okay, then we have Kitty Valentine Dates a Fireman by Jillian Dodd, a romantic comedy. These are so much fun, guys. I, like, these are so fun. So, Kitty Valentine is an author. She lives in New York City. She's been on the New York Times bestseller list, like, five times or something. But she writes like very sweet romances and her agent is like that's not what people want anymore you need to write some steamy romances so her friend and her agent and everyone come up with this idea that she has one of those wheels and you spin the wheel and whatever guy is on there is what she has to date so we're talking like billionaire doctor firefighter santa just all kinds of stuff so she spins the wheel and lands on firefighter well lo and behold her grandmother is taking her to a charity bachelor auction and there is a firefighter. So Kitty went to this firefighter, but he's her middle school bully. And she they remember one another, and he's like, I have changed. And she's like, you are terrible. No. But, of course, they end up dating just because, like, she needs to do a fireman for her book. <laughs> so she doesn't, like, write all about the relationships, but she does get some information about, like, what it's like to do this job and everything. Um, I really enjoy this. You don't have to read them as a whole series, but... I like kind of suggest it. I think there's 10 of them, but they're very short, only like 200 or so pages. And just, come here. And just so good. Like so good. And they're so cute, they're so funny. Kitty is like a absolute basket case. She's very anxious. She is always worried about like, what's next, what's she gonna do? She overthinks everything, but I really enjoy her. So her best friend is a lot of fun too. She has like, a grandmother who's quite wealthy and also just like a little bit eccentric but still fun and then she has an across the hall neighbor named Matt who has a golden retriever named Phoebe you guys know I always love a dog in a book and I just really like Matt Matt is such a good character he's such like a foil to Kitty's just like you know craziness that's going on so good I really love this whole series this book is really good and it's really cute like I said they're very short so you could definitely just kind of fly through that then I have Hosed, which is another series that, a book in a series that I've talked about before, so it is by Pippa Grant, and it is part of the Happy Cat series. So we have Ryan and Cassie. Ryan is a firefighter. Cassie is, she's in Happy Cat, Georgia, taking over the sex toy factory that her sister owns, because her sister has, like, run away. And she's living in her sister's house, which is right next door to Ryan, and she used to have a crush on Ryan, but, you know, Ryan was kind of like, no. But now they both kind of have a crush on each other. But in the meantime, there's something going on. Someone is kind of out to get Cassie. And they are trying to figure out exactly what's going on. And, you know, situations get pretty dire. But it's still really good. And there is a raccoon in this called George Cooney. And he is so funny. He always, like, ends up in clothes. He eats, like, candy. He is so funny. I absolutely love George Cooney. This is such a cute little series. I haven't finished the entire thing, but I've probably read half of it. And honestly, it's just so cute. Like, I cannot recommend it enough. Next, I have Deal Makers by Laura Lee. So, this is a brother's best friend firefighter romance with a, like, secret Vegas marriage. So, we have Charlie and Drew. And we start out... Is that, is that their names? Yes. Charlie and Drew. And we open up in Vegas. I love a book that opens up with a Vegas marriage. I think that's so interesting. So we open up with this, like them waking up in Las Vegas and they realize that they are married. So then they have to go back home and we get kind of what's going on now and what happened that night in Vegas. 
So basically, Drew is Charlie's brother's best friend. They've been best friends for 10 years. And they're in Vegas for a bachelorette party. Well, a bachelor slash bachelorette party. And Charlie and Drew have had this attraction. They're both attracted to one another. Um, and Charlie actually, like, kissed him one at one point, And her brother walked in. It was like, no, 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 no. So they're very worried about her brother. And they're keep, like, they're saying, we're going to annul this marriage. Like, it's not going to happen except for they never get around to signing the paperwork. So they never get around to signing the paperwork because they're too busy hooking up. And then of course her brother finds out, which is as, which as you know, is a huge tenant of brother's best friend romances. So we have that going on and they're trying to navigate their relationship while also kind of slowly remembering what happened that night in Las Vegas and how like just having a drink together led to this and whether they actually should be together or not so we don't ever talk about him being a firefighter other than like they say oh he has such a hot bod because he's a firefighter um which kind of annoys me when it's like advertised as a firefighter romance and that's what it is but you know if you don't want any of that drama that really comes with it fair enough and then like the way that like the big conflict happened at the end kind of annoyed me because I feel like Charlie never trusted Drew and I find it hard to believe that they are willing to have this relationship and they've built this relationship when Charlie never trusted him. Guys, right guys, I'm so sorry that I'm like snapping my fingers off camera and like saying come here and everything. I just got a kitten, like he's been here for a week and he is just now coming out of his shell. I rescued him. Um, so I'm definitely pre-filming this. So by the time this video comes out, he'll have been here for a little while, but this is the first video that I filmed with him here, and he is very inquisitive about the lights and the setup that I have over here, and he keeps pushing his little head, like popping up and pushing his head through the ring light, but it's not really like that sturdy. He's falling. <clears throat> um, and I don't want to lock him up because I want him to be able to like explore the house and feel like it's his house too. Um, so I am sorry about that. I'll insert a little picture of him so you can see him. He's so cute. But that's why I'm like running around. Just have a couple more books to talk about. Maybe, uh, he scared himself when he kind of knocked this over. So we'll see how that goes. Next we have Her Main Distraction by Rebecca Gannon. So we're following Ellie and Tyler. Ellie, um, her boyfriend like cheated on her, so she quits her job, packs up her stuff, and goes to this little town in Maine um, where all of her friends have recently moved. And she kind of reconnects with Tyler, who is like her friend's husband's brother or something like that. And they decide they're going to be like friends with benefits, but that's it. They're not going to have any feelings, but of course they both are catching feelings. And Tyler is like so nice. He's like taking her for picnics and just doing all kinds of stuff. Like such a sweetheart. Um, she is working in this bakery. She's going to end up being a co-owner of it. So that's kind of been her dream. Um, and her chef ex-boyfriend just didn't support that either. So we have all that going on, but she is like so afraid that he is going to like get attached and that she's like not good enough and she's going to ruin it and blah, blah, blah. So she kind of just leaves and they're both like really upset. Like, I don't know. I felt like it was a little bit unnecessary, like all of the drama when like clearly they were in a relationship. Like she could not have thought if she had a brain cell at all, she could not have thought that they were just being friends with benefits. Like they were very clearly in a relationship. So, and you know, of course he's like hurt and you're like, well, yeah, of course he's hurt. Cause they're clearly in a fucking relationship. And she's just like, no, I don't know. Like I understood like the, her getting hurt. So her being wary type thing, but I just did not I didn't buy into like her thinking this is not a relationship. And also she just kind of annoyed me. So didn't love this. This is a series. This is not the first book in the series. I think it's like the third, but I just didn't love this one. It just wasn't, it just wasn't for me. Um, it's cute. The little town is cute, whatever. The characters are great. And you meet a lot of side characters that also have relationships, but I just wasn't, this one just was not for me. The next one I have though was for me and that is Ignite by Melanie Harlow. So I love Melanie Harlow's Cloverly Farm series. Um, I've read 
a good bit of it. There are two that I haven't read just because I felt like those weren't tropes that I loved, but I really enjoy this series. So this is actually another book in that series, which I didn't realize. I thought this was just like another one of her books. So we're following Winnie, who is um, Mac and Franny's daughter from like their book, or well, Mac's daughter that Franny's like adopted basically from their book. And then, what is his name? Dex? And then Dex, who is a firefighter. So Dex is a single dad, and he is moving into this like little townhouse condo thing, um, and she lives next door, Winnie does. So Winnie is sworn off love because she falls in love super easily. Like, she'll like just become obsessed, like plan her wedding, whatever. She's pretty upfront about that. Winnie also has a cat named Piglet. I know I love a cat. Um, so she's like spying on him. She thinks he's really attractive, but he's kind of pushing like against it. He's like, no, she, he's like, she's a baby. She's a baby. She's 22. He's like 34, I guess. So there's that. And they end up hooking up really quickly and they're both super attracted to one another, but they decide that they're just going to be like, you know, they're just hooking up. So she's like, I'm not going to fall in love with them, blah, blah, blah. So while all this is going on, he's trying to take care of his girls. He's a firefighter. And also she is applying, or she like gets offered this job on, in Maine, I think, like on the East Coast. So they are, and he's like, go ahead and take it. So they're doing their whole relationship thing. They're clearly very into one another, like, but she's going to leave and he thinks that they can't be together because of their age difference and everything else really parallels Mac and Franny who also had like a 10 year age difference and he kind of felt the same way so like they even make jokes that like she is Franny he is Mac like it, you know they make a lot of jokes I really liked this I loved the way that the story came together I loved their relationship I thought it grew really well I thought it was really organic they were both so open about their faults and just willing to like work together to be friends because they weren't together but like they work together but it was really good I really love these I think Melanie Harlow writes a fantastic single dad romance They're, those are not my absolute favorite like I just children are not my absolute favorites that's why but I think that she just writes an absolutely phenomenal you know single dad romance I love her small town romances I think she's great so I was perfectly happy to read this I think it just came out like the end of last year or something too so very very good definitely recommend that one and then I have one more for you guys um it is not on Kindle Unlimited but some of her other books are and that is Cockloft by Casey Lynn um I love I've read like every book she's ever written I love her book. She hasn't come out with one in a couple of years, though. So, Cockloft is actually a companion novel to another one called Beautifully Insightful, I think. But in this one, we are following Cece. And Cece is, like, a rich girl, and they live in Atlanta. And she's, like, a rich girl. She owns a little boutique, and she's just, like, doing her thing. She also has a pet chihuahua. So, one day, her fire alarm is going off in her building, and she's like, oh, hell, like this is just someone set it off or whatever so she stays in bed and then she starts panicking and she starts looking through her closet for a purse and this hot fireman comes in and is like what the hell is wrong with you so they have to take like the giant ladder all the way down she's in her underwear she has her dog like super hilarious but then they kind of keep running into one another he shows up at the strip mall thing where her shop is his name is Gabriel and then they end up at this birthday party for a girl that works for her and they end up partnered together for the scavenger hunt and that is when sparks really begin to fly and they kind of hook up and they're both like well this is just a hookup but then they go to dinner and then he takes her to like his grandma's birthday party and they're spending so much time together and they're so into one another and I think their relationship is just so good but both of them have a lot of demons like Cece's dad was like murdered kind of trying to save her friend at one point and then Gabriel's dad is definitely a deadbeat and he like ran away but he comes back though so throughout all of this um Cece is trying to open up a men's line in her boutique and it's that night that her and Gabriel really just butt heads and he's like we're not right for one another but they are right for one another <laughs> I really love this book it's so good um when he has like a hard day he can come back to her like it's just so very good and of course they have to figure out if their relationship is going to work but really just fantastic that's one of my favorites so Casey Lynn has a couple of other firefighter romances in her like little sweet series we have Sam and Jace and Jace is a firefighter 
Um, and then she has another one called is it The Ultimate Sacrifice. Um, that is, uh, it's going to be a series, and it's about um, firefighters who are tracking like a serial arsonist. So definitely recommend those. They're all really good. And that is kind of what I have. I hope that you guys heard about at least one book that you would be interested in reading because like I said, just love a firefighter romance. Absolutely adore it. Um, we had a gala one time at this museum that I worked at and our fire alarms went off and there was a red carpet outside and the firemen walked to the red carpet in their, like in all of their gear because there was not a fire. Our alarm system is faulty. Anyway, so yeah, I love a firefighter romance, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!